much rooted in science, but it's, it's just uh, kind of uh, magical to hear it. Tension really has no bearing on uh, you know, the pitch that I get or anything. There's, uh, there's no physical reason for uh, placing a great deal of tension on this because the way I'm playing is uh, using the longitudinal mode. And the, uh, when I'm playing, I'm bowing along the length, and that sets up a different form of uh, mode of vibration, which is called the longitudinal mode, as opposed to the transverse mode, which is all other string instruments employ. When I'm performing a composed work, I also notate the, um, say, the location and the, the, you know, the the path, you know, the distance of the path that I am walking. You know, not only for duration, which, um, you know, the longer I walk, the the longer duration is going to be, um, but also um, different nodal points exist at different locations on a string length. Um, and so these numbers on the floor help me to map and locate where those are. You know, I can recall a particular texture that I uh, found interesting, you know, by notating, you know, say 15.7 meters. And then I can, you know, get close to it and, and recall that, that texture. I notate in my score with icons that look like these numbers and diagonal lines which, which indicate walking um, in or out you know, from one number to the next. I start to internalize lengths of my strings. Um, I know that a thus and so pitch that is tuned, uh, that I can't, it, it's only gonna be six meters long. I can't, I have to be up that close in order to even play that string. So it's like I've got a bunch of internal, internalized information uh, using the numbers.